I've watched a whole heap of videos and uh, done a lot of reading, try and work out the best way to set up a kayak for the water. I think I've done pretty good. We haven't tested it on the water and that might be a couple or so weeks away. But for now, I'm just gonna give you a bit of a run through and uh, show you what I've done and get some ideas off you all. Let's get into it. Okay, so we're starting here at the back of the kayak. First and foremost, safety is number one for me and I have organized a uh, flag. I have got multiple points to uh, mount this, but uh, probably gonna spend most of its life here at the back on the Scotty mount. So that's uh, hard mounted there. And uh, that comes apart, it's actually a handy little flag that uh, yeah, as you can see there, comes apart quite nicely. So um, packs away nice and easy and uh, fairly sturdy as well. I've got half a paddle on the back here and that's mainly because I've got the other half sitting in the front and I'm not planning on using that too often at all and I was just trying to save a little bit of space. I do also have here an Esky on the back. This is only a 13 litre. It's quite small, but I do have other means of uh, holding fish as well, which I'll show you in a moment. I've actually got that uh, couple of uh, mounting points in there and I put a couple of clips on there just to make it easier and more uh, secure on there. I have my wheels that uh, will sit on the back as well. I do have here uh, what I call my anchor bag. Now, I do have a couple of uh, options here. I've got a drift chute and I've also got a uh, one of our traditional anchors as well. I will give you a bit of a close look and I'll make another video on this in the next uh, few weeks as well. If you want to subscribe and uh, catch that in the future. Um, nice little setup there I've uh, made up for an anchor. Now, I've, I've got the Hobie bag on the back. That's really handy for me, just for um, bits and pieces that I need quick access to. I've got a little phone holder. I've got my uh, sunglasses there. I've got sanitizer. I've uh, got some um, sunscreen lotion. My gloves, the neck gaiter thing. I've even got for emergency use, I've got a little uh, mirror there. So uh, if I do get stuck out in the uh, long reaches and hard to uh, see places. Um, hopefully I can flag down an aeroplane. Hopefully you're never going to use that. I do also have a little waterproof case uh, for my first aid gear. And I do have some um, bug spray as well there as, to uh, keep us safe. And of course, I've also got a fish hook remover. Now also on the back here, I've got my Orb uh, 360 light from Burley Pro. Uh, I have uh, messed the wires up a little bit on that, so I'll get that sorted out. I've also got a Railblazer rod holder on the back, and that's uh, to keep my little fishing net. Now, that has got a um, rubber net on it to uh, make it a bit easier for the fish. Now, it is a small net. I do see a lot of um, guys fishing off kayaks using the uh, longer nets. I've already got that, so I don't want to rush out and buy another one that I don't know if I need yet, so we'll see how I go. But uh, you know what, I'd love your feedback if you think I need a longer net. Um, we're gonna see how I go. Now, down in the middle of the boat, first and foremost, I've got the seat, the Vantage seat. This is an absolute ripper of a seat, adjustable in so many ways. You can lift the height, you can drop it back down so you sit lower into the boat. It's got some lumbar support. It's got so many adjustments. This alone, I reckon, is worth the uh, whole cost of the boat. Now, I've also got, uh, obviously, my sounder sitting up close and uh, personal, so I've got access to that. That's just a Lowrance Hook 5 HDMI 5-inch uh, screen. I've also got the mounts for the fishing rod. The plan is that I will have the rod set up and uh, I plan on taking no more than three rods at a time and I'll have those set up at the front. Uh, I've also got a little pocket here which I've got my um, little measuring device, my brag mat. I've also got another little safety feature here. I've got a rope that sits in the side here tucked in and uh, in case of emergency if I do flip the boat I can throw that out. It'll help me turn the boat over and help, actually help me climb back into the boat as well. So I've got mounted along the front here. I've got my uh, pliers. They're my uh, black magic pliers. Had those for a number of years and they've uh, served me quite well. Now under the seat here, got a couple of uh, things. So got a Plano box with a bunch of lures in there. I'll give you a bit of a closer look. Uh, this is my soft plastics kit, so in here is uh, basically uh, some hooks and a uh, number of soft plastics 
And uh, this little tactics box here, I've uh, been setting up predominantly to carry my uh, GoPros, because uh, obviously we're gonna be filming out in the water as well. So we've got those uh, set up and they'll sit uh, nice and safe here under the um, seat there, of course. We've got some rail blazer um, mounts as well. The idea for me is I'll be casting with my right hand and uh, fishing predominantly off the left of the boat. So I've got this, uh, you know, hopefully keep this stuff out of my way. And uh, that's gonna be my main rod holder. This one here I'm planning on using when I'm um, releasing or catching the fish and trying to get it off the hook. Hopefully I'll uh, put the rod in there and it'll keep it out of the way for me. Got another one set up here on a Scotty mount so I can use that if I'm uh, trolling and I want to fish out of that side. Of course here too we've got the pedal drive so this is the 180 pedal drive. Um, of course with the uh, double latches at the front so you've got forward and reverse in there as well. I do have a cup holder there, and I've got an old little uh, cup here that I often, what I used to do, I haven't fished for a little while, but uh, the plan is that I often have that filled with uh, fresh water, and I can uh, drop my uh, lures in there, and uh, hopefully uh, stop them from rusting out a bit. So over on this side, I've got my Hobie Caddy. Uh, this is quite handy, just at this stage, it's just holding a number of my tools. I still haven't exactly worked out how they're all gonna be sorted. Of course, we've got the steering uh, here and uh, a leash there for um, holding onto my rod. On the back here as well, I do also have a horn. That's actually quite loud and uh, quite handy. So if I uh, have got a boat coming right at me, basically I can pull that out and give them a bit of a warning, hopefully. Now, moving towards the front here. Um, plan is that I will have my uh, rods. I'm not planning on taking more than three rods at a time. I don't like too much clutter on the boat if I can help it. And I've got my uh, rod organizers here. Plan is I'll always have run rod out that I'm using and two rods uh, as a backup. So one for squid maybe, and then the other couple, whether I'm fishing lures or uh, bait. Now, as you can see in the front here, I've got the freeform fish bag. This is actually a really handy bag. I'm really happy with this. And I've mounted on the front just using um, just your normal uh, clips there. And uh, this actually is quite roomy and it comes with a bag inside, which is uh, essentially the size of uh, the bag. So you can put your fish in there and keep your um, smells and uh, you know oils and whatever out of the way and keep your bag clean. It's obviously lined with this um, foil stuff to uh, keep it cool. It's got some padding there and really handy in case I do catch any bigger fish because um, that uh, because that has to get the front's only 13 litres, so it's not going to carry anything too major in there. But uh, if I do carry any big fish, um, I can soak them in there. And that also opens up at the top, so you can access it uh, from a couple of different ways. Really handy, I think. Another safety feature here, I've got a uh, rope. I've had this rope on several different boats and kayaks. Um, it's basically designed on my boat not to... Um, reach the uh, motor at the back. But in this case, uh, it's just gonna be long enough just to have something to hold on to when you're out uh, mooring and when you're out um, launching the boat. Now, in the front here, a little bit more storage, as you probably know. Now, I'll be using this uh, predominantly for storage, not for fish. So for me here, I've got a, a nice big waterproof bag there. And I've got in here things like my boots, I've got my hat. This is the frill neck hat, just wraps around you basically. Uh, I've had this for absolute years and it's an absolute ripper. I should do a review on it at some point. And uh, some clothing in there as well, some wet weather gear and that sort of stuff. So um, basically that's clothing in there. I've also got my toolbox in here, which I normally keep in here. And this uh, essentially is like my emergency box. It's a little, little waterproof case. It's got cable ties, it's got some tools in there. I've got spanners, I've got Allen keys. I've basically gone through and worked out what I'm potentially gonna need to do any repairs on this boat and uh, little pliers and that sort of stuff. I've got a uh, waterproof torch and uh, a couple of other bits and pieces. And that's what I reckon I'm gonna need in uh, emergency, hopefully, if I ever do. In here, I've also got my um, maps bag. So that's just another little waterproof case to keep my maps organized and uh, that sort of stuff. 
This one here is basically just going to hold um, a little extra GoPro gear and uh, another little dry bag. Some more dry bags, you can never have enough dry bags as far as I'm concerned. And uh, this one here is just, you know, more bits and pieces and uh, spare gear that I might need for the kayak. And um, put those in there. And this is the vest that I'll uh, be using. So this is the Marlin um, inflatable PFD manual inflate i don't want anything that's automatic i don't want to fall in and the thing opens up on me because it does make it hard to get back in now it doesn't have a lot of pouches and stuff on here but uh it's pretty good and uh it does have a little bit of uh storage there so nice zip there things to clip into and uh somewhere to hold all your tools so i do have a few more tools organized in the um front uh, box there as well Underneath here, underneath all this storage, I've got my battery pack there, which powers up my Lowrance Fish Finder and also the uh, Burley Pro Orb Light as well. Now that's supposed to run it for quite a few hours. I haven't really tested it yet, but uh, we'll let you know on that one. I've also got a bilge pump, and as you can see, I've got it strapped down to uh, the rod holders here. So nice quick Velcro straps if I do need to move it out in a hurry bang, grab it and start pumping the water out. I also keep the other side of the paddle here as well, just in case I ever do need that. I have some failures with the motor and I can get the uh, paddles joined up and paddle myself back. I've also uh, keep a towel in here as well, just to pick up a bit of excess water that may uh, fall in and just help absorb that up as well. I've also got this Rollblazer mount for my GoPro. This allows me to just to push that camera out a little bit, get a little bit of a wider shot. The idea is I can have this set up uh, pointing me at the front. I can also put it on the mounts at the back and uh, show a bit of, uh, have a bit of footage moving forward. And I'll probably have a head mount, um, a chest mount or uh, something like that as well, just to get some different angles as well. So you'll have to wait and see uh, what we do in the future videos for that one. Now I've got to do have a couple of other uh, mounts as well. Obviously I've got this mount here, which is just going to help me um, clip on the uh, paddle drive, just to make sure I don't lose that. I've got uh, a couple of little mounts here, here and there, just for uh, my bits and pieces. I've also got here on this side a um, anchor trolley as well. So uh, that's uh, been professionally fitted by the looks of things. It was already on the boat when I got it. That's gonna work really well with my um, hard anchor and with my drift anchor as well. So along here, I've got the fish ruler as well. That's the Vic fish ruler, and that's gonna help me identify, uh, obviously, uh, the fish that I can um, take home with me. And, uh, you know, you've got the padding here for uh, standing on, and I believe that this is a fairly stable boat. I'm looking forward to uh, testing it out myself. Now, I'm looking forward to taking this out, but I can't actually take it out for a little while because I've discovered that my six x four trailer, which is unregistered, cannot legally carry a kayak. Why? Because anything extended over the back makes it a boat trailer and that has to be registered. So rather than register my six x four trailer, I've actually picked up a uh, new trailer for 50 bucks. It's a bit rough, but uh, I will use those parts on another trailer that I've picked up for a couple of hundred bucks. Now I'm hoping to get rid of the boat that's sitting on that trailer, get some cash back on that one, and then cover the cost of um, the trailers that I'm working on. If you wanna see that trailer in a future video, hit that subscribe button and there's uh, future videos coming on that one. Meanwhile, I'm gonna get this out in the water hopefully soon and we'll give you a bit more, a few more videos there as well. So if you're into all that, please like, subscribe, do all that stuff and we'll see you out in the water. Thanks guys.